Welcome to Columbus, Ohio, and the venerable horseshoe, home of the Ohio State Buckeyes, a place that's home to such legendary names as Archie, Woody, Zeke, and Stroud. Coaches like to say no game is more important than any other. But when you have a couple of top 10 teams ready to square off, yeah, that one carries a little more weight. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Buckeyes will kick it away to start us off. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Crimson Tide offense takes the field to start things off. And here he comes just jogging onto the field. But what's going fast, the heart rates of everybody in this crowd, Jesse. Well, this is a special player. All eyes in the stadium on this guy. And David, you know the defense. They're going to have to find a way to try to slow this guy down. And he's going to touch it every single play. He'll be the main focal point. Can he handle the pressure? Can he handle the big moments? Can he handle this stage and lead his team in a big moment? This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Third down, and they'll need two on this initial drive of the game. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Alabama will bring the punt team on the field. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The Buckeyes offense has the ball for the first time. One thing to keep an eye on in this game, when they get a back isolated on a linebacker, who wins that matchup? The quarterback likes the matchup, but this linebacker, he's different, man. Not only is he a hitter, he's got the athleticism to cover people, too. Normally, you say that's a win for the running back. A running back on a linebacker, I win. But this guy is different. Interested to watch this matchup. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Dropping back, it's Howard. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Defense came on the field with fresh legs, and here on just the second play of the drive, they're able to get a sack. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in the third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. And the Buckeyes will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He'll signal for and make the fair catch right around midfield. The tied offense rolls onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. 
lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Goodness, that is the way you blow up a play quick, fast, and in a hurry. Hair on fire caused a wreck that had to be a blown assignment. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Dropping back, it's Milrow. They're setting up the screen. Still on his feet at the 45. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking for space, it's Haynes. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Off play action. Caught behind the line. It's Miller. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. And listen, if I'm the quarterback, I'm trying to dump the ball off to my playmaker and make this a manageable third down, get something positive. But how about the defense just reacting so fast, getting to the running back and getting that sucker on the ground in the open field? On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for it. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. And he missed it. No good. And guys, after the miss, no change in the score. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll leave it with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That play had zero shot. They got to do a better job up front, creating some running lanes. The running back before he could go anywhere, getting tackled, nowhere to go. They punted on their first drive of the game, and now they have to convert on third down to avoid doing it again. Wants to throw. It's Howard. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. That is an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding the window between the zones and delivering that ball on time. The Buckeyes will line it up on first and ten. Give to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And it's picked off. He was trying to get that return going instead. He'll hand it to his offense at the 38. A lot of quarterbacks have so much confidence that they can fit the ball in tight windows. How about the defensive player right here making an unbelievable interception, forcing the turnover, big play, big momentum swing.
Here comes that Alabama offense. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. Pulls it in. It's Haynes. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the bat. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And this defense, this crowd, this atmosphere, it can rattle an offense in a hurry. Yeah, you can shake them up. When you can get to the quarterback and affect them, we all know they become very human. They start seeing things. And with this crowd, they can't hear anything. This place is going absolutely nuts. Nice job rushing the passer, igniting the crowd. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Throws to the tight end. Holds it in. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's blocked. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Alabama rolling quickly downfield, set up with another first down. They'll run it from the gun. And after the stop, that is going to put a bow on this first quarter. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and it has been a defensive battle, and the stats tell the tale so far. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. And here comes play number six of the drive. They'll run it from the gun. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23. And this D would love to force a field goal try. Looking to pass. It's Milrow. He'll pull it down and run. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to it. And he get him on the ground. He picked up about four yards, and the ball spotted at the 10. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He's got it again. Snowed under after a pickup of two. They'll mark it at the eight.
Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Floating away. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Man, that's frustrating for a defense. You, you had him in third down. You had him in a predictable situation. Try to go capitalize on it. What does he do? Pulls that rabbit out of the hat, scrambles around. Now puts him right inside the five-yard line in scoring position. You got to bow your next. You better get ready for the next play. Trying to punch it in. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Alabama! That touchdown was a clinic in keeping your offense on the field and wearing the other defense out. Sometimes your best defense is your own offense, being able to stay on the field. You're absolutely right, Reese. That was a clinic. Running the ball, playing at great rhythm and pace, QB making good, smart decisions, and not shooting yourselves in the foot. No penalties, no turnovers. It doesn't get any better than that last drive. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Paul, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw it this drive. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they had hoped for. Now first and ten from the 40. Fast motion from the offense. He's looking to throw it. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, really, really be physical. Because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out. This time on target. Hey, listen, as a receiver, you're running that hitch route against man coverage. You can't loaf on it, right? I know it's just a little short throw, but you've got to make the defender think you might be going deep. So a nice job not just taking it easy on the play. He put his foot in the ground, he drove back to the ball and made it easy on his quarterback. Trying to pick up a first down. Running back goes in motion. To the air, it's Howard. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. The Buckeyes decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The tied offense rolls onto the field. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Alabama pushing the tempo. They think they can create space here with a run to the right. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. They're down to the 20, first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a man. Takes a hit as he fires. 
can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. This offense has a second down play. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Fires to the wideout. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Makes the grab. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Bama! That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out, start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Motion from the offense. A jet sweep pass. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Fires left. It's complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. The toss to the right. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Makes the grab. It's Smith. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And after that short completion, what will they do now? Just a few inches to go. Yeah, and you wanted to get the ball out quick, and you wanted your receiver to make the play for you and get the first down. You don't now. Decision time, fourth and short. And the Buckeyes will call on their punt team. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. 
First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Not a lot of movement on that one. The defense in position. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. From the 17, it's second and seven. On the move, it's Milrow. They're trying to get to it. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. They've got them pinned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. On the ground, it's Haynes. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Defense going to use a timeout. Can't afford to have any confusion on the call here. Looks as if the Tide will punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. Makes a move. He was working his way toward midfield, but they'll stop him at the 46-yard line. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into... There he goes to the right. Touchdown, Ohio State. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And the offense finds a way to cut into this lead. They still have plenty of work to do. Yeah, they do, but that's a big score. You don't want to get late and start getting in the second half when you're fighting and come back by so many points. So great job getting points. Get that momentum back on your side so you can come out and do some good things when you get the ball next time. Ready to try the point after. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes that Alabama offense. They're going to throw it to start the drive. It's caught downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. When I see the defense in man coverage, I'm trying to get my fast guy versus their worst corner. Trying to get a great matchup on the outside, take advantage of it to make big plays. They came out humming on this drive, and now it's first down from the 36. Caught over the middle. It's Bernard. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense. Next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. Looking to throw. It's Milrow. Pressure coming. He'll heave it deep. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. On second down, just keeps firing. Tight end finds a soft spot. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires the pass. Intercepted. You're not getting him on the ground. Still on his feet. He'll finally go out of bounds, but he was showing off all the skills after that interception. 
Who says defensive backs don't have hands? Nice job breaking on the football and making the catch. A lot of times you see guys swat it down or you see them trying to catch it. Looks like they have two left hands. Defensive backs don't catch real well. Nice job breaking on the football. Nice job securing the INT and actually catching it. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Quarterback by himself in the backfield. To throw, it's Howard. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. All right, that's a good result for the defense. We knew coming into this year they wanted to really improve their pass defense and their secondary and coverage. Nice job there. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got it. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first hit at the 37. And how about the confidence of this quarterback? Palmer, I got to know, man. I know this receiver's a stud, but I'm putting two guys on him. I'm trying to take him out of the ball game, and he's still going to throw it that direction? Because even when he's covered, he's open. And these guys work tirelessly all week long. They understand where they're going to be. They understand when the football's coming out. You could put a third guy over there, and I don't know if that would have changed the quarterback's decision. I think he was still going to his big playmaker on the front. That's exactly what you're trying to get accomplished. you got to make sure on all these runs, clock running down, get out of bounds, right? Get some positive yards and then stop that clock. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They're in the red zone and they'll pass it. He caught it! And he's into the end zone! Touchdown, Buckeyes! A methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. And the tight end, I tell you what, this is a position that's evolved so much, right? And you see him move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? you got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target and make the big play, get the touchdown. Lining up to add another. And it's perfect. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown. And the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And they won't try another play. Instead, taking a knee, and they'll head to the locker room. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Columbus for an entertaining first half than you? It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. Time to put an end to the speculation and find out they're inside the horseshoe. Ready to start the second half. Alabama will kick it off. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. 
Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. They feed him again. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. The Buckeyes are stopped, but not before getting the first down. That is how it's done on third down and short. A no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. The Buckeyes are marching down the field. They've been running it, but now the pass. Grabbed over the middle. It's Tate. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. That's a really nice throw. When you think about being the starting quarterback at the Ohio State University with all the great players they've had here recently, what this offense expects from you. This is explosive passing attack. You've seen that now in recent years. They push the ball vertically down the field. This guy has this skill set. That's why he's out there on the field right now. He allows this offense to really go, and he's playing at a high level. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Feeling some heat. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hog mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to throw, it's Howard. And he feels the heat coming in. It burns him up. Another sack. And I love playing man coverage on the back end. Getting in those receivers' faces. Don't let them feel comfortable and, and run zone where they can find all these holes in the zone and my rush can't get home. Pressure them, pressure them, pressure them. And the Buckeyes will send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. On the return, it's Bernard. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. The tied offense rolls onto the field. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Out of the gun to give to the back. The tie will get the first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They'll get him at the 45, but he got 10 on that one. 
Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. The Crimson Tide comes to the line with the first and ten. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm now. They're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Grabbed in the middle. It's Prentiss. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense gets set for second down. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Unloads to the wideout. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there. Now it's fourth down. Yeah, and that's tough, man. Golly, you got him wide open. And that cat can roll. You're not talking about, you know, a guy that's an average runner on the outside. You got to give him a little bit of a chance to run underneath that, put a little more air underneath it, but he just overshoots the runway. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the ball will bounce at the four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. The Buckeyes will bring the punt team onto the field. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Fair catch called for, but there is a flag on the play. We'll have to sort it out. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Hand off from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. Looking for a crease. It's Judkins. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. They'll try to get the edge with the toss play here. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. 
I like the idea of going toss to the field, but you got to have better blocking by your wide receivers out there on the perimeter. They didn't get it done, and as a result, that's a negative play. The Buckeyes will punt this one away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Here comes that Alabama offense. He'll start this drive firing. Catch in the middle, it's Henderson. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. It's a really nice looking throw. This dude is a weapon in this offense at the quarterback position. It's so funny, you know, I think back to guys like Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron, guys that may or may not have unfairly been tabbed as game managers. And then you think of Jalen Hurts, Tua, and Bryce Young in recent years, and just how dynamic and versatile these guys were at the position and how they've really helped take this offense to the next level. Watching this guy reminds me a little bit of that. We've reached the end of the third quarter, and we have a potential classic on our hands, all tied up as we take a peek at the stats. These two teams about to find out what they're made of as we open the fourth all tied up. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still just a very short game. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Got it behind the line. It's Haynes. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Hey, on offense, you got to know when the play's over. And that one there, nowhere to go with it after he caught the football. You start trying to juke guys. You start trying to run backwards. This ain't high school anymore. And you used to be able to make that play years ago. You're not doing it here in big-time college football, though. Not good. Back to pass. It's Milrow. Going for the big play. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Really nice third down sub defense there that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass. And they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion setting up for it. So here we are on fourth down. And this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. The field goal is no good. And after the missed field goal, guys, we are still locked up. And you wonder if mechanically something is off with this kicker. That's now his second missed field goal of the day. And guys, we've got almost perfect conditions to kick the football. I'm not sure what's going on. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Opening play of the drive from the 39. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Got it in the middle, it's Scott. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. You know, we joked that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Takes a handoff. It's Henderson. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. The number one goal for this defense coming into this game was shut this running back down. And I got to be honest, there were a lot of people on the outside didn't think they could get it done, but they're proving everybody wrong. Tremendous effort. They're playing with a chip on their shoulder. This guy's one of the best in the nation. He's had zero impact in this game. 
Catch in the middle. It's Smith. Knocked down immediately, but they couldn't stop him from getting the big gainer to the 30. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first one. Got his man quickly. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. When we see another catch by this guy, this defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Trying to seal the edge on the right. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. This is a hard defense to run to the outside against because of their speed. You saw in that last play, their ability to go sideline to sideline, win at the point of attack as they shut down that sweep play. Yeah, and it's also hard when you get in the red because what do we do on defense? We bring in all the big bodies, so there's not a lot of space in there to run. I like getting the ball in the perimeter. You toss it out there, you run it back. He gets out there faster. Touchdown, Ohio State! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for him. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. So that's a 60-yard touchdown drive, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll bring it out. It's Bernard. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The tied offense rolls onto the field. RPO complete to open the drive. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. Kept it on the ground on first down. See if they stick with that plan on second. Now the play fake. Caught in the backfield. It's Miller. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. Well, they made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back. But, man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, I need a stiff arm. I need a spin move. I need something where he can make that guy miss and keep pick up a bunch of yards and maybe get a big play out of it. Quickly to the tight end. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that, A, it's zone, but, B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The give to the single back. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. Yeah. 
This Alabama offense is clicking. They're set up with another first down. Looking for a man. It's Milrow. Dumps it off in the flats. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Miller. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. And a really nice job by the defense winning second down. I think the quarterback thought he could dump this off, maybe get some positive yards, set up a good third down. The defense did a great job responding and getting that running back on the ground. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. He's going to pass. Caught in the backfield, it's Haynes. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. And I, I think that, that call will leave people scratching their head. You know, you're down a possession. You've got to go make something happen. The clock is ticking. Like, we got to take some shots down the field, or we got to get our butts out of bounds after we make those catches. On second down, he's looking downfield. Makes a connection. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8th. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Touchdown tie! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. And great job executing. The offense did what they needed to do. You got somewhat of a decision here. Do you want to kick it, tie it up? I think you do with this time frame. You know, one to two minutes left in the fourth quarter. You probably want to do that. But you could push the envelope. You could go for two and try to take the lead. PAT unit on the field. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. They put together an 81-yard drive. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Wide open downfield. And he's brought down after a huge completion. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they'd love to convert this third and short. They'll try to run for it. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. 
It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Hand off from the shotgun. Got enough space. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And they've got the lead in the final minute. And how about this offense, man? They knew they needed to execute. Great play calling, great drive, put it together. Now you got a chance to go up by seven late in this ball game, and then let your defense go on the field and seal it for you. to attempt the try. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. They'll need to be very sound here, limit this return, and put this game in the hands of their defense to salt it away on the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes that Alabama offense. On the run, it's Milrow. That pressure got to him and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Second and ten. He'll throw again. Getting some heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Well, you look at the clock. We've got time for one more play, but they're out of Hail Mary range here, needing a touchdown to win this game. This is going to be a a last second, last chance play that they practice, by the way, throughout the week. It's going to involve probably a lot of laterals. We've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. On third and long, try to convert through the air. They're bringing heat. To him had a chance for an all-time finish, but the defense put a stop to it, and that's the final play of the game. 